Ignorance is bliss. Until it comes to bite you in the ass. This past weekend, I did a wedding. I used my Lumix S5 in order for me to capture majority of the video for the wedding, but I also switched over to photo at times. During the course of the day, I didn't have any issues. Whether it be indoors, outdoors, whatever the case may be, I shot everything in natural light. Up until the location shoot, as well as the reception, I needed to switch now over in order for me to get an external light source in order for me to work. Everything was going fine. I was doing what I needed to do. At the moment of sunset, I now needed to turn the couple around and get the sun behind them and use an external flash in order for me to get light on them. I took my Godox XT2, popped it on there, Godox AD400, put it up, softbox up, press the shutter button and poof, nothing happened. Now here I'm standing. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Poof, nothing happened. Press the shutter a couple of times, turn away. Hey, embarrassed at this moment, eh? Turning myself away from the client, trying to figure out exactly what the situation is here, yeah? apologizing to the client, obviously. And because I myself don't know what the hell is going on here. Yeah? Everything was working fine. I always test my equipment the night before. I set everything aside and so forth so that I know that when I go there, everything is working. When I left that day, everything was working. Everything was tested and everything was working. Here, this thing doesn't work. I need to figure this thing out very quickly because from this location shoot, the next thing is I'm going to the reception and the reception itself needs an external light source. Now at the location, fortunately for me was that the sun was still setting. So there was still a bit of light left. So I could just turn the couple around. I, I, need, I apologized to the couple. I said, look, let's not try this thing. Let's not waste any more time. I turned the couple around and I could get still the natural light shots of them at the location and everything worked out fine on location. My biggest concern was obviously I'm now moving away from the location, I'm going to the reception, I need to figure out quickly what the hell is going on here. So I could, obviously I can't make the couple now also stressed because the thing now is this guy is not going to get the photos and, and whatever the case may be because he's having problems with his equipment. The first thing that I did when I got to the reception, I went and I sat in the corner on the ground, got the camera, got the flash, got the trigger and was like, okay, what's going on here? Flash, nothing, doesn't work. Took the Godox off, I put the external flash on directly, doesn't work. Earlier on during the course of the day, I switched my camera over to silent mode, obviously for the, for the ceremonies and so forth, to ensure that nothing happens. While I was taking these photos and while I was trying this, I was like, okay, I'm used to hearing the shutter go off. When I do studio photography with my, with my Lumix, I don't have any issues because I never switch to silent mode. So I switched it off from silent mode and shot again and it works. So I was like, oh. okay. So this is the issue. So I got this, I got, everything went back to normal, got the flash on. The reception was covered perfectly. I got everything that I needed at the reception. Lights was working fine. I wasn't having any issues. When I got home, I was too tired. I didn't still look at this thing. I just backed up everything and went to bed. The following day, I set everything up again and, and I was like, okay, let me test this thing now again. What is going on here? And I switched it back to silent mode and I tried it again and then, it, okay, it doesn't work. Switch over, it works. Okay, is it something that I'm missing here in this thing? And this is where the ignorance is bliss comes in. I've never previously needed to switch to silent mode and use the flash with my camera because I've consistently been in a situation where it's either in studio or alternatively it's me shooting product photos and stuff like that and I will use the Lumix S5 for that and I don't have any issues with it until the day where actually at the ceremony and I've always used my Nikon Z62 previously. So I thought, let me, focus, let me cover majority of the wedding and everything with the Lumix S5. And then I went and I did a Google search and I was like, okay, is this a problem? Is it, is it the problem with the camera? Is it the problem with the trigger? Is it, where's the... And then I got, I saw a video of Panasonic where Panasonic actually says, okay. Namely, you're not getting the absolute best image quality possible from your camera when you're in electronic shutter mode. Also, under certain lighting conditions, namely things like school gymnasiums, you may get some strange banding that shows up in your photos. And finally, in electronic shutter mode, you can't shoot with a flash. And I saw the banding. When I saw the banding with one or two of the photos, I was like, okay, let's get this thing sorted out ASAP. Then I was like, okay, no, cool. Now I know 
for next time whenever you are shooting in silent mode do not expect to use a flash it was the first and the last time that i ever used the panasonic s5 for a wedding from a photography perspective i'm not going to use it again um but it was a learning opportunity for me to say hey they are no definitely ignorance is bliss if i had spent more time understanding those type of things but I did that because I didn't ever think that I was going to use my Lumix S5 from a wedding photography perspective. That's going to need me to use external flashes and stuff like that. It was a, it was this one wedding that I was doing, and I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm sitting with the situation. So don't put yourself in that situation. This it could have turned out very very bad.